Over the past few years, China has undertaken some of the most ambitious and groundbreaking infrastructure projects the world has ever seen. With a staggering trillion-dollar investment, these mega-projects are not only reshaping the nation's landscape, but also setting new global benchmarks in engineering and innovation. Let's take a closer look. The Duge Bridge Standing tall above the engineering competition is the Duge Bridge, which, upon completion, officially became the highest bridge in the world. Crossing the beautiful Bay Panjang Grand Valley, the Duge Bridge is an insane 565 meters up at its highest point, large enough to fit all of one World Trade Center underneath with room to spare. And while China was more than happy to accept the new world record for the highest bridge, this monumental feat of engineering is as practical as it is impressive. As part of the G56 Hangzhou Reili Expressway, it connects the city of Zhengwei in Yunnan Province to Shuichang, a region in the Guizhou Province. If you don't live in China, this might not mean much to you. However, you should know that commuters used to need more than four hours to traverse the valley between these two areas. Now, thanks to the bridge, they can do it in less than 60 minutes. In fact, Guizhou Province is home to three out of five of the world's other tallest bridges as well, demonstrating just how dedicated the Red Dragon is to dominating even the most challenging terrain. So, how did this towering bridge come to fruition? Well. Construction began in 2011 and took more than five years to complete. On top of that, the project ended up costing a whopping 1.023 billion yuan, or roughly 142 million US dollars. If this seems a little on the low side, it's because the government was heavily involved in the process. Through subsidies, cheap labor, and the sourcing of local steel, China was able to drastically reduce the costs associated with building the record-setting bridge. Of course, building a nearly mile-long suspension bridge in such a mountainous area is not without its challenges, and as tight of a grip as the CCP keeps on its country, it can't literally move mountains. Yet. Still, the architects ended up having to move the final location of the bridge several times after caves and seams in the mountains were discovered. Still, it was all worth it for these breathtaking views. And despite achieving a new world record, the Duge Bridge is not just about height, it actually represents a critical new link in China's rapidly growing infrastructure. Because even though China represents more than 6% of the Earth's total landmass, its population is still growing fast. In order to have a functioning society, cities, towns, and provinces need to be interconnected. This brings us to our second mega project, High Speed Rail. Japan is often considered the king of high-speed rail, but China is spending billions to knock its eastern neighbor off its steel-plated pedestal. In fact, China has already managed to completely revolutionize its transportation system with its extensive high-speed rail network, which recently earned the ranking of the world's longest and busiest. The journey of this transformation began in October 2010, when China unveiled the world's fastest driverless bullet train, the Fuxing Hao. Capable of traveling at speeds of over 350 kilometers per hour, it can carry passengers between Hangzhou and Shanghai in under 45 minutes. However, just two years later, China set another mega-project record when it opened the world's longest high-speed railway line from Beijing to Guangzhou. At 2,298 kilometers, it's roughly the same distance as traveling from New York City to Dallas. Astonishingly enough, this journey, which used to take at least 24 hours, can now be accomplished in a third of that time. Innovation is at the heart of China's high-speed rail ambitions, so the convenience provided by this network extends beyond just travel times. Imagine hopping on a train in Hangzhou and sipping coffee as you arrive in Shanghai a mere 45 minutes later. Such advancements have made trips like these, which once required either a plane or a teleporter, into a simple daily commute for millions of passengers. Furthermore, this network has had profound economic impacts, connecting previously isolated regions and fostering trade and tourism. Businesses can now move goods faster and cheaper, while people can visit relatives or explore new destinations with ease, thus fueling economic growth and social integration. According to the latest figures, China has laid down an incredible 38,000 kilometers of high-speed rail since 2008, nearly enough to encircle the entire globe. This vast network connects every corner of the country, allowing you to travel from the scorching Gobi Desert to Icy Harbin in just a few hours. In true Chinese fashion, even cities that have yet to be built are already completely accessible by high-speed rail. As impressive as all this is, the development of this country-wide rail network hasn't been without its challenges. Aside from environmental concerns, the sheer cost alone is staggering. 
In fact, at the end of 2020, China's total investment in high-speed rail was estimated to be around 800 billion US dollars, a number that would give even the largest economies pause. Nevertheless, China continues to innovate and explore ways to make the network more sustainable. One prime example is the country's crowning jewel of a train station. Shanghai Hongqiao Station China's high-speed rail network is supported by a series of interconnected hubs, many of which are unique or innovative in their own right. However, few, if any, can hold a candle to the Shanghai Hongqiao Station. Opened on July 1, 2010, alongside the Shanghai Nanjing Intercity Railway Line, this station is truly a marvel of modern engineering and design. Spanning an enormous 3.2 million square feet, Shanghai Hongqiao Station features 16 platforms and 26 tracks, ensuring that it can handle a constant flow of high-speed trains. It also houses facilities for conventional rail, metro, buses, taxis, and even long-distance coaches. It is, without question, the hub of hubs. Another standout feature of the station is its solar system, which consists of 20,000 solar panels producing 6.3 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year. This commitment to sustainability highlights China's burgeoning dedication to integrating green technology into its infrastructure projects. This carbon offset is crucial, as the station's construction required more than 80,000 tons of steel, twice the amount used to build the Beijing National Stadium. But it's not scale alone that makes Shanghai Hongqiao Station so impressive. According to the engineers behind it, it represents the future of transportation. This is because the station's construction, which costs an impressive $28 billion, was specifically designed with passenger flow in mind, a necessity for a city with a population of 29 million people. Indeed, everything stretches out from a centralized hall that is constantly buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, the station's user-friendly interfaces and seamless integration of technology make navigating its massive halls and corridors that much easier for the some 210,000 rail passengers that pass through here every day. In fact, the station's waiting hall alone is capable of handling 10,000 passengers at the same time, bigger than many U.S. concert arenas. In a way, Shanghai Hongqiao Station symbolizes China's ambition and capability in modern infrastructure development. To citizens and non-citizens alike, it stands as a testament to the nation's ability to create world-class facilities that not only meet current needs, but also anticipate future demands. As China's high-speed rail network continues to expand, Stations like Shanghai Hongqiao will play a pivotal role in connecting the nation's cities and regions, driving economic growth and enhancing the overall travel experience. Of course, not all of China's investments are quite so grounded. The Eye of Heaven Telescope China's ambitions in space have grown of late. For instance, Chang'e 4 made history in January 2019 when it became the first mission to land on the far side of the moon. Meanwhile, Chang'e 5 successfully brought lunar samples back to Earth in December 2020, marking the first mission to do so since the 1970s. However, these are far from the only out-of-the-world investments the country has made. This is the 500-meter-wide Aperture Spherical Telescope, which has been abbreviated FAST. However, most Chinese citizens prefer to call it by its unofficial nickname, the Eye of Heaven. Conceived by astronomer Nan Rendong in 1994 and completed in 2016, FAST is the world's largest single-dish radio telescope. Similar to the 305-meter Arecibo Observatory the U.S. built in Puerto Rico, the FAST is located in the remote Daodang Depression in Pingtang, far away from any cities and potential transmission interference. In fact, finding the perfect location for the construction of the Eye of Heaven took more than a decade. Eventually, the Dawodang Depression was chosen for its natural bowl shape, which the engineers thought would prove ideal, not only for supporting the telescope's weight, but for ensuring efficient water drainage. The telescope's construction involved over 4,400 movable aluminum panels. But unlike Arecibo, which had a fixed spherical shape, fast surface can change its shape, allowing it to focus on different parts of the sky with unparalleled sensitivity and precision. Thus far, it seems the dedication to superior construction has paid off. Indeed, FAST's capabilities are extraordinary, allowing scientists to study celestial objects and potentially detect faint signals from beyond our solar system. The telescope has already discovered over 660 pulsars and continues to investigate fast radio bursts, mysterious flashes of energy that produce more power than our sun does in an entire year. Such studies are quite literally pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and opening up new avenues of research. 
Of course, the sheer size of FAST means that it requires constant maintenance to ensure its precise operation. It also seems that they may have made the telescope a bit too powerful, as even in its remote location, it continues to deal with interference issues. Nonetheless, the telescope's ability to peer deeper into space than any other radio telescope before it has positioned China at the forefront of astronomical research. Ultimately, the development of FAST was a monumental achievement. Despite being diagnosed with lung cancer in 2016, Nan Rendong traveled from Beijing to Guizhou in September of that year to witness the culmination of 22 years of work. He passed away a year later, but his legacy lives on through this remarkable telescope, contributing significantly to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, and our understanding of the universe. Underwater Tunnels China's insane trillion-dollar infrastructure development isn't limited to soaring bridges, telescopes, or enough high-speed rail to circumnavigate the globe. They are also investing in incredible underwater tunnels. The best example of this is the Taihu Tunnel, which was miraculously completed in just four years. As the name implies, the tunnel sites are beneath Lake Taihu, one of China's largest freshwater lakes. As part of the Changzhou Wuxi Expressway, a transportation link aimed at easing traffic congestion and improving connectivity in the Yangtze River Delta region, it allows drivers to travel under the lake itself. Spanning almost 11 kilometers, it is one of the longest highway tunnels in the world, reducing travel time across the 2,250 square kilometer lake to a mere eight minutes. And the experience of doing so is quite mesmerizing. In fact, the Taihu Tunnel features thousands of LED lights to keep drivers visually stimulated as they traverse the lake, while ventilation shafts, cleverly disguised as islands, statues, and boats, ensure air circulation without ruining the lake's natural beauty. As with all mega-projects, the construction of the Taihu Tunnel involved overcoming significant challenges. Among the most notable was ensuring the tunnel's structural integrity and maintaining safety for drivers. It was constructed using specialized tunnel boring machines, which incorporated advanced technology to help them navigate the challenging underwater environment. Likewise, cofferdams were used to pump out the water, resulting in a safe and dry construction site for workers. As impressive as the Taihu Tunnel is, China is already planning an even more ambitious project, a proposed 90-kilometer railway tunnel between Yantai and Dalian. If fully realized, this single project would dwarf the majority of the world's existing tunnels, further demonstrating China's engineering capabilities. And how does China plan to power all this shiny new infrastructure? Nuclear Energy China's rapid economic growth has driven a growing demand for electricity. However, this also coincides with the country's recent dedication to more sustainable operation. For this reason, the country is increasingly turning to nuclear power as a cleaner alternative to fossil fuels. In fact, since first firing up Taiho, its first domestically built nuclear power plant in Guangdong province in 1990, China has expanded its nuclear capabilities significantly. By 2035, China plans to have 180 gigawatts of nuclear power capacity, which would make it the largest nuclear power producer in the world. And it looks like they might just do it. With 38 nuclear power reactors in operation and 19 under construction, China is the fastest expanding nuclear power generator in the world. Over the past decade, China has invested hundreds of billions of dollars in nuclear energy development. This includes the construction of new reactors, research and development of advanced nuclear technologies, and international collaborations. Perhaps even more impressive is the fact that the country utilizes a variety of reactor technologies, including pressurized water reactors, heavy water reactors, and advanced pressurized water reactors, ensuring a diverse and resilient energy mix. Among other things, this helps reduce dependence on a single type of fuel and enhances overall energy security. Still, there's no escaping the fact that the initial cost of building nuclear power plants is substantial, with the first plant in Guangdong province carrying a hefty $3.3 billion price tag. However, these facilities are designed to provide a stable and reliable energy supply for the next 50 years and beyond. The massive Guangdong plant, for instance, consists of two pressurized water reactors with a total capacity of 1,888 megawatts. However, as with everything the country does, China's nuclear power program is not just about quantity, it is also focused on quality and innovation. The nation continuously upgrades existing plants and uses its experience to build more advanced facilities, a commitment that has placed China at the forefront of the technology. It's a big switch from a country that was recently reticent to even address the problem of climate change. 
China's trillion-dollar investment in these mega-projects is revolutionizing the nation's infrastructure while simultaneously setting new global standards for innovation. From high-speed rail and futuristic train stations to giant telescopes, towering bridges, underwater tunnels, and nuclear power, China is pushing the boundaries of what is possible and reshaping the future of engineering. We can't wait to see what they have planned next, or how much it will cost.